the okay so it's everyone survives asterisk so without spoilers if it's your first time watching this there is uh three unavoidable deaths that you kind of have to go through and it's not it's not a big deal like one of them happens off screen you can't do it anyway one of them is kill this person or let three to five people die which obviously we don't want to do and then the last one is like the conclusion so we're, we're going for least amount of deaths and like this is literally the least amount of deaths you can possibly get in this game so that's what we're gonna do tonight all right so we're starting a new game we're gonna do the whole thing right now it's gonna be great So the other thing I like too, this game has a uh, streamer mode where you do non-copyright music, which I've actually not heard yet. Because Twi Twitch and YouTube will absolutely mute your video for some of these songs that are in the base game. first playthrough was like seven and a half hours. I'm hoping to get it under six. You know, if the YouTube video is seven hours, then I apologize. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. It's not camping, it's strategical non movement. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Hey, who's the real winner just here? get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. Oh. Uh oh. Hey, 
Hit the brakes, you animal. He's flying out of here. Look at that Moscow mule you made for me. He's actually pretty good tonight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ. Good ratios. A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we had a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Max the mechanic. Let's get out of here. We want to snoop? Nah, we're not that kind of person. Thanks, son. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people will curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? <laughs> uh, they don't want to catch on fire. Picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space. Well, anywhere's better than here. I guess we'll just go walk through the woods. Who dat? Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Defiant, are you my boss? God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be yeah. careful. Yeah. Luck with the car. Just walking through the woods. There's the flashlight. Nobody worry about me. There's 10 pieces of evidence in the game. I think we can get them all this run. If I remember where all of them are. This is only my second, like, full playthrough. Oh, hold on, there's something over here. Escapology trunk. The study of escape.
she's freaking out. Go run! It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Or are you? Are you me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, man. Right, you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Officer. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Nothing. All right, you gotta be nice to the cop. Sincere. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Uh, I'm sorry, it was, just, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. Uh, they? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? The cop seems anxious. Yeah, my bad. Is this guy like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> We're saved. Everything's gonna be okay. Now you folks wanna tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Dismissive or friendly? We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um. But we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. He's got blood on his neck. 
kind of weird. You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just going to stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're going to head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Oh. Uh, insistent or compliant. Gotta be nice. Okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost. Completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um, I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? But we don't get a police escort? For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. 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 So, we... Right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? <laughs> well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Okay. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Are you paying for my motel room? Just sitting there. Annoyed or relieved. That guy was giving me major weirdo. The dude needed like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? Did I you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Oh. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? i got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s... Debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into maps. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> Boy. June 25th. Me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this <laughs> is the difference. Hello? 
I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car, and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat yeah. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guess y'all are sleeping in your car. Max, Max, get over here. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. <laughs> Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay. So take the wrench. You sure? Confident or resigned. Hammer time. Yeah, saw it online. Gonna snap the lock. Damn. You need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Great film. Hello? Are you hey, hurt? We just you broke exist? in. Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Ian. Bloodied collar. Well, that's not supposed to be there. Investigate. Not that way. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination Oh shit. Max? You okay, buddy? Max! Nice blood. Help. Oh. oh boy. I, 
they don't lose no life. Help Max leave Max. It's our boy. It's Max. Okay, well, don't pass out now. So yeah, there's there's very little you can do in the prologue that changes anything. And now the game officially starts. Alright, we got ten chapters to get through. Your decisions in chapter one do affect later chapters, so. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. Vampire dogs and with I the two years. Help you. If you and kill you someone, you have to restart from the beginning. Into the unknown. Yikes. It's exciting. Yes. And terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. Yeah, I, I like the the narrators in the other games. I don't really you care for her. Find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. Like if you don't the guy in Until Dawn was all right. I like the guy in the uh, Dark Pictures friends. anthology. You said so yourself. She's kind of meh. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Oh, sass. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. There's a lot of weird decisions we have to make during the game to ensure everybody survives. Like, it isn't just picking the safe options or doing everything by the book. You'll see. As like weird decisions come up, I'll explain why. Heck, it's Cory forever. Hags. Taco Bell later, yeah, depending on what time we get done and if they're even open. Gotcha. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, established 1953. By old grandpappy Hackett. Hi. 
Raiders. Peace and love. See you later, August 22nd. Yeah, what was it? June 25th? Was when the prologue was? You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer two. camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. All right. Uh, where's that thing? Yeah, there it is. Oh, hey, this is Emma's. I'll just wear it. He's just creeping up these stairs. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, please. Oh. Sorry, bro. Cool, thanks guys. <laughs> Get Sam Fisher over here. Oh, skill. No, I want to close the window, not go through it. Shit. Oh, double skill. <sighs> double skill. Alright, triple skill. I didn't expect him to say, but it'd been kind of funny if he did. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. <laughs> you're so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? I knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing, 
is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> Be brave. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Thorough. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure Caitlin that this old buying dust it. bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Uh huh. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> dun dun. Okay, so you want to steal the rotor arm because breaking the fuel line actually catches the car on fire. Either way, you're stuck, but... Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 oh, Nick! Yeet. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Ooh. Freaks. Mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... Being dumped an emergency. Oh, Absolutely. Be nice. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> it's like the longest fade out ever.
Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Yeah. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. We gotta break in. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. We actually have, have to for a later chapter. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure Emma's they're proud think of a bear? Me. Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. It's over here. Aw. This was little Izzy's. So she forgot it. I want to play a game. <laughs> We're keeping it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Okay, is there anything else in the cab? I've actually never been in here. Oh. Camera stops there, so I guess that's it. Nice camp. All right, what we got. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. All right, evidence number one. <sighs> Ew. Ew, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ew. Ew. Right, there she is. All right, get me out of here. Ready to roll? Yup. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. So dramatic, annoying, confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh no. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <gasps> nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Oh, email. email. Are you 93? Serious. What's wrong with email? 
I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Do it. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Same. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Ring that bell. We're good again. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot. The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... It's a small forest probably, fire, no big yeah, deal. Get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All. Everyone, same. Six o'clock. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? <laughs> no. It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> hey, look, we got our bags. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Ugh. Nudge, do it. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? A Thank you. Enthusiastic there. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? Be friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? Think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. 
Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hack of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hack of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Undeniable proof. Oh, sorry, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. <laughs> okay, I guess. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Hello. I wonder what that's all about. Listen to podcast or eavesdrop. Hmm. What? Those kids are kids. It can only be so much of those. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Adios. All right, back away from the door. You can hear him coming. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. <laughs> I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. <laughs> Sorry I pushed you out like that. Smooth. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know... And, uh, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam my family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang 
doing it. Concerned or frustrated? I mean, it is important to him, but... Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh... What, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? I mean, you gotta Sorry, have ghost stories. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Uh, why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. That's what they always say. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Gotta get you a little key hook. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. Got him. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's Shh. the rules, you noob. Dude, I'm surprised your uh, phone has a charger for two months of not using it. I try not to it. dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine mixer. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn. Damn it. He's mad as hell. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Oh, 
Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. I suppose an Uber can come all the way out here. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Okay, bye. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Seems smart. Or we could do something else. Uh, we should probably stay inside. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Bears. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. You don't have a choice, buddy. Fine. Yes. Yes. I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. So chill. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Nothing bad will happen to us.
Tucker and Dale vibes from these two. Hunting season. Would you write in blood? I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Oops. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. We'll see what I can do. We don't actually need them. They just give you a hint about an upcoming chapter about what not to do. And get you a Steam achievement. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh and I called him Sam Fisher. Done, okay. Jesus Embarrassing. God. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick the door. No. He's got it. <laughs> Hi, there we go. And Viola. Uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Dude's peddling that merch. I respect the grind. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. 1953, the year the camp was founded. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! Oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Yeesh. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies.
harem scarum it's the hag of Hackett's quarry This is supposed to be like the camp store. Why is it so big? Like, look how many empty shelves you have. You, you know. Seems like a waste. Just me. I wonder where this goes. Locked. Jacob! Come check this out. Get your lock picking ass over here. Oh, all righty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Hackett's never gonna know what hit him. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if I kept this place. Oh shit, up. they got vampire bites? I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. I mean he left us stranded here. It's like um <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Alright, sure. it's just survival. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Probably his private stash. Not like he's selling beer to the campers. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh. Okay, um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just, let's, let's go. Torn bags. Did a bear do this? Ooh. Take this, though. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And, a uh, code. Well, we know where that goes. Settle it down now. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> That's everything. Oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Oh yeah, we got our fast travel all settled up. All right. Take his money or his fool's gold, wherever he's gotten here. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> Shotgun shells, good. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Shh. Fireworks. No fireworks. I feel like fireworks are crossing a line. What? But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection, and the fireworks could start a forest fire. 
stupid forest fires. <laughs> hey, forest fires. I found these like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude, peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Aren't those for kids? What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um. <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old. Aren't okay, they? look, they predate expiration dates. Blech. Well, you're gonna love them. Blech. Blech. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front. The so grisly we can load beer. In there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. Ladies first. Mm, yep. Which way? Here we got a shotgun, watermelon, and beers. We're ready. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um... Yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful. Digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner. Fide. Get it? It's boner. <laughs> wow. Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Right, well, we look got? at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Mmm, uh, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. But... Hello? What? What? <laughs> Who is it? Uh, hello? Oh, that's weird. Anyways. It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Hmm. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. To... Makes yeah. sense. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Look 
What if bears crash Dude, the party? We're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said: if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. <laughs> the most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. If you interact with it like three more times, it gets pissed off. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. We don't actually need to go down there. Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. More mysterious that way. Sure. All you do is damage the ladder if you go down there. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. Start rifling through his desk. No big deal. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Just some silly gooses. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around. It's like and everything in this camp is locked area. down. I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's you're not a little bit curious. I'm not going to touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Oh, here we go. Now we got the saw room. Uh, Brian? Fuck. These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. 
These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It's weird. It's majorly <laughs> yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. No, of course not. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. What we got in the cams. Hmm. What was that? Oh. It's probably nothing. Oh, yeah, sure. This happens every day. See over here, or this is that okay? All right, I'll leave. Oh, baby, got juice to go all night. I didn't know this was a Magic the Gathering game with secret lair drops. What? How was your ramen? Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's I've never problem. heard of that place, but I mean, the picture looked good. Yeah, I'm interested. Especially if you don't drive an hour to the other one. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Did you sell your Imperial Seal yet? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Yeah, if you're going to start playing Commander, uh, you might as well yeah, hold probably. on to it. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Nice. Full up. Let's get out of here. So. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. I have a Judge Foil one. I don't even play with it. I play Vamp, Demonic, and then I have like a weird one, like the Sultai Ultimatum, which is kind of a tutor, but like that's it. Like, tutors are fun, but you don't want to make like a billion. Yeah, like, unless you're going to play CDH, you don't really need a lot easier with Mr. H's seven cancel. tutors. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, kind of obnoxious, huh? 
Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. Do you know what's here? You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. So I play with like meadows and all of them Which sometimes. Why don't you choose? Rocky Road, Shady Glade. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Oh, uh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh... I mean, how often do you actually get to play with Adam, though? Oh, when he's in town, I guess that makes sense. Is this a danger of falling rocks? Bet. I mean, what are the chances they're gonna fall right now, you know? Looks like I hear rocks breaking apart. Oh yeah. Shit. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> We're gonna die in here. The the only thing I have proxied in my deck is the dual lands, because I own them at one point. I'm not spending another thousand dollars to get them back. Like the ones I need. We made it, we didn't die. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. It's overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like, let it happen, you know? Huh? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? Like the Futurama episode with I Bender. I really thought about it like that before. That makes sense. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. going around the big path. I thought this was a horror game. We're, we're still in chapter two. You gotta give it a second. The, the next chapter is when you can actually start dying. See, we have to wait. <laughs> we gotta do all the awkward flirting, right? So we have to wait for the sun go down and the moon to come up for the horrors to start taking place. If you catch my drift. Where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just wow. 
And this time we're saving everybody, asterisk. The first time I played this, I think I had like seven deaths. You know, oops. One of them wasn't my fault, I missed a quick time event. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. So, Jake, are we doing the calzone train thing? I've asked a couple other people if they want to go too, so. I'm gonna stream since stuff works. Womp. What are you streaming? Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. Roller coaster tycoon. There. Hell yeah. Sesprilla. Hold on. Hold on. Save Abby. <laughs> Hold your breath. Play dead. Out of here, you. No, she doesn't die, but she gets uh, hit by the boar. Jeez, that was close. He almost just mowed me to death. The, the key to the hold your breath thing is you have to let go the second the red goes off your screen. That means you have a chance to escape. At least we gave her a good story to tell a pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew! This and game actually has, like, I think 178 outcomes depending oh, on what you do with every character. Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> Just you wait, Jake. Next chapter is kicking off. So, so, I'll grab my keys. I will follow the sun. Guess we should head back. I feel like I'm watching a CW show. I mean, fair. Uh, the prologue had some cool stuff that happened like two months ago. But yeah, chapters one and two are just kind of set up. Let's see, it's 722. Sun's starting to go down a little bit. And look, it's Brenda Song. I finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb She's been on the CW, right? Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? 
Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Weird light in the treehouse or no service. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? <laughs> you know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? Mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. <laughs> oh, I know what I said. Oh. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. <laughs> It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh. I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. Whoa. Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come Dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Gotta have protection. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these... Are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you going to shoot me? Calm down. Them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, I'm not leaving you with a gun. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like Would you trust Jacob with a okay, gun? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. I mean, the game's got a shoehorn in a shooting tutorial somehow, right? <laughs> okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're next. Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. 
right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, dark. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? I don't know. How's Emma? <laughs> it was... It was okay. Hey, had a boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. Wait, no, no, no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You Jake, you gonna put a uh, Challenger Roller Coaster Tycoon stream? If you say any attraction name, you have to blow up. Of, let me I don't know, show a roller coaster. You how Shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chests at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. Let's do it. All right, Nick. One point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Fuck these bottles up. All right, I need two right here. Yep. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right, you might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. Bring up the trigger. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right, just show the stance. Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, hey, easy. Blaster. <laughs> that is how you get someone shot. Just flagging everybody. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jaggy? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. Blam. We thought this was over. What the what? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter pops. Looks like she's our shooter then. All right, the moon's out. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Right. Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... 
Abigail. Truth or dare? Um. Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh, um, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. How old are they supposed to be? All right. Uh, uh, they're, they're counselors, so like early 20s, I think. All oh, right. Okay. Um. Uh, Abby, oh my God, yeah. just pick someone. I mean, they got beers, so. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Caitlin, obviously. Caitlin, shall we? I mean, Ryan. Ryan oh, is buying kind of this game. You can pick either one. All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, we kissed Caitlyn. Let's pick Jacob. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there. There, man. Come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. Naked. Oh, <laughs> dude. Fuck yes. Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Of course he's into it. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, Jacob, wait, don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're going to fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, veto. You know what? Fuck this game. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss Jacob or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um uh sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. No. Oh. Seriously? It's not gonna like that. Guys. Or her. Guys! Right? Emma just causing problems. <laughs> Good. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You think? You should probably go find Abby.
So, anybody want to play part cheesy? What? Quick, everyone spread out, go to the woods. Oh yeah. Is that the hag? No, it's... They haven't been revealed who they are yet, but it's too... This is the hag. Welcome back! I am, as always, delighted that you're here. She's the narrator. So, then... What more has been found? You're not gonna like it. You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. No cards for you. Please, my friend. There's only one card game I collect. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. What does that mean? Chapter 3! Alright, this is the chapter y'all been waiting for. Trouble in Paradise. Middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Just wandering through the woods at dark by yourself with no light source. These things happen. Trail cam? Sure looks like it. No, oh, there she is. Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Right, fun game? Hi. You, uh. You ran off. honest. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. 
different lifetime. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Ever really went to make Jacob jealous, huh? Sure did. I, I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. Do it. What's out there? Dun dun dun. again. the tree no you're not fast enough She did it.
<laughs> no, he's just mauled. And, you know, infected. But he's not dead. No, so the, the asterisk is... Uh... Three people have to die. One happens in a cutscene, you can't do anything about it. One is the ending, and then one is kill this person and save like three to five other people. So like the the last one, the kill the person, you can keep him alive. I'm sorry, him alive, but you're dooming other people if you do so. If I do everything right, this is the most amount of people you can save. Uh, yeah. I guess you're done, then. Of course. Also, poor Jacob. Sleeping down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this... us... was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah. No, no. I know. I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you... You fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Hey, that's mine. Yeah, well, finders keepers. <laughs> I'm getting it back tomorrow. Keeping your single silver bracelet. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite Oh, Jacob. Oh. You better hide that. We'll take the tarot card, but we're not using it. That was like such a freebie. Like like half the tarot cards I do just give to you. The other half you actually have to go exploring and find. Zero. You did. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. I'm coming, I'm coming. What does that say? No swimming without supervision. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or you know, we could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, we... <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help! 
Help! I'm I'm drowning and I I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Ask Nick. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake. It's not the promised land, but I'm sure this room is planned. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? Glitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop being a rock. Splash. Yeah, she's not gonna like that. She's that kind of girl. Sentimental or flirt? She doesn't seem like a sentimental right. type. Okay. Check this out. Uh, okay. Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Okay. Oh. Oh shit, the road over here. Yeah, we needed to escape, buddy. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Get it. Abby's fine. There it is. Get it. Grab it. Yeah. Got the evidence. Uh, pull or detangle? Detangle. That seems like the smarter one. Alright, you're good. Alright, we saved the rotor arm, we've got the evidence. Everything is great. Oh, Emma's gone. Some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. 
Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. <laughs> hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? The woods. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Impatient what happened. Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick. Go! Caitlin wants you to calm down. Reluctant. I mean, she should do it. She's the better shot, but... Okay. I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Let's go rescue our boy. Uh, take shortcut to follow path. We gotta get there faster. the shortcut. Hold on, because we're going to do it again. Slow me down. Uh-oh. Hey, put him down. Shout, yeah. Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Stop, stop! I'll shoot. I'll do it. I'll do it. Holy shit, dude. Oh, not, you just not. walk that off. Not. Hey, hey, can you walk? Jack, gotta go. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Get back to the fire. Oh. We saved him. Stop. Stop. Now here's he goes. Didn't even get dressed. For you back there, Jacob. What are you doing?
call out. No? We're good. Got this, come on. Shit. Fuck. Short rope. Threatening or pleading. Hmm. Let's be nice. Oh, please. Please, man. Just just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing? It's a big old buck knife. Son of a bitch. Throw dirt. Pocket sand. No, we don't do that. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Help. Take Keep your mouth closed. It's for your own good. Rusty shot before it. I made a Tucker and Dale joke about them. Finally. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity. And sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would She's talking like about the hunter, me? guys. No, I'm good. No? Okay. If that's what you want. She sounds surprised. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. So much fun. Chapter four. That's horrible. It was. It, don't panic. It was. I, I. I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Abby, it says don't panic. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Uh, can you draw what attacked you? The beast. Okay. He's fine. Hey, buddy. Picture of health. What happened? Animal attack. Where's Happy? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? A lot. Bear, wolf. 
coyote. A very determined squirrel. A man bear pig. He's half man, half bear, half pig. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. Sure. You say you're supposed to do that. Sorry. You gotta keep that blood in you, big guy. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Yeah. What? Frustrated, you're an idiot. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Nice. Hey! Got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Sort of. I'll sort of shoot you. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? We're not firing. Shoot, don't shoot. And that's why. I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Uh, what happened to you? Where's Emma? Yeah, where's Emma? Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, I I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch! Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's super fucked up. Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, one of, the, one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell, because it was, like, all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. You think? Is this a normal night to you? I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. 
You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get. Let go. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No <laughs> thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. The island is not that far. You can totally swim. to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Okay. It's Emma. Let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Isn't that where we saw somebody? So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little. I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's always Ouch. sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. Yeah, That's she's shit-talking Jacob. By mean of fork in the road. She sounds okay. like a lovely person. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Mm, maybe we should take the high road. I don't know why you're blasting Jacob to all your followers. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. All right, up we go.
All right, we've got the high ground. We can't lose. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Jacob's problem, or I hope Abby's okay. Why are you shit talking Jacob still? I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Sure. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Okay. All right, we made it to our little shack. keys police car keys hmm. I think this might be one of those I'm sorry officer I've no idea what you're talking about situations dude so right all of their phones have like 40% and they're just like going the whole night with it and here we are as promised one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse in another world perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Kind of weird. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no She's not lying. Search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Do not open that trap door. Hell yeah. Hmm. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not going to make me jump, I can promise you that much. Like, why? Why would you? <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Use the taser. Take a photo, yes. Evidence. Okay, run. Spray. 
get maced. Lock the door. Barricade it. I don't think you did that right. Use the trap door. Get out of here. It's still like kind of blinded. Go, 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 go! She's a fighter. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but... Oh, he's hungry, all Some right. Granola? I think he might be thirsty, too. <laughs> yeah, give me my tarot card. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think it has their scent? Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know, has their scent or something? Definitely what? stalking us. I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I... I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. Close you doors. Came down here at night while camping. Animals. In what? No. Did you? A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I. I I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Yeah, almost like he's self-healing or something. Like a wolverine. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Ghostbusters. Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. I mean, call the cops. What do you mean? Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. 
and we're, we're not sure how many there are out there or he how did. smart they are so it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now and we really need backup yeah yeah that's that's good okay Nice. What's wrong? Dead. Are you sure you didn't hang up? Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Do you think this is a game? Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? But? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, or a shack, where really. Your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. For a what? I'm keeping this. Only temporary, yeah, yeah. I will put it back when... We're good and safe, and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power. What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair That's point. true. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. We're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Aggressive, give her your gun. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. I mean, one gun for each party seems fair. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. And I interrupted something? Okay. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Who are we seeing now? Emma, Jacob, Emma. Oh yeah, she's not really out of danger yet, is she? Like we're stuck on the roof. That's promising.
real slowly. Yes, be quiet about it. Or as quiet as we can be. Speed up? Nope. Nice and slow. Uh oh. Okay, maybe maybe a little faster though. He's trapped on the island. Hey, we're in the chapter. We're flying through this game. Oh, good to see. You. Just under good three hours. <sighs> At time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? No, I'm okay. Move on. No? Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. <laughs> She's went. <laughs> White noise. Seems appropriate for going to the radio shack. It's 1030. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm um, grateful. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no. I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You were here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the um? The oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. That's right, two shotguns. Let's go. Uh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh-oh. Speak up? No? Why would you... This is clearly the time for quiet. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine, just... Careful. Stay alert. 
go check it out, boys. So, what do you want to talk about? Maybe it's one of those bears we keep hearing about. going towards him. <laughs> Lock him in there. When you find him, run him. And keep me posted, Bobby. Bobby. That boy ain't right. I mean, it's dark. It's not that dark. That shotgun, I guess. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yes, yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what what are you saying? <laughs> Don't worry about Caitlin. Hey, I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Oh, Nick, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out and I'm just not a good time. Well, don't be bitter. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you... Did Abby shut him down? A little bit more to happen? So no, done? they're just talking. Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen. I just... Didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. See, there you go. You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. Nick. 
medicine isn't candy. That's what the poster said. We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. Run, Caitlin. Oh my God! What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Hide. Quick. Good timing, good timing, good timing. I mean, Nick seems to have made a full recovery. So, the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your money. Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um... Uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? Camp no, radio. Like a DJ or uh -oh. music something. Oh, um to being stalked. Yeah, I mean I like music, but I think I want to major in um quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh you don't really seem like a science guy oh yeah I mean you know not not here um. I keep it moving I'm, I'm sorry I'm so completely fascinated by this what do you mean by not here not here at camp I do that at home and then here I um... you're a wise wise cracking smart ass <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh, no? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool. It's, fine. it's pretty cool, it's <laughs> chill. Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. All right. All right, the decision we made in chapter one is going to help us out here. As you can see, that door is open. Let me broke in. I want to get that shotgun out there ready, my man. I've gotten all the evidence so far, so that's good. All good? Uh, yep. 
All good? Dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, <laughs> but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. Dismissive. Well, how do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. That's my. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but extremely worth janky a looking. Shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing. Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so um, you know we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please... Uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. <laughs> yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Amazing. Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh. My God. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. What do your elf eyes see? Uh-oh. Check it. Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know, hold on. Uh, yeah, that's totally us, dude. You just told the hunters where we are. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. 
Let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, don't be aggressive. I I I wasn't sure, man. Fuck! What the fuck was that? I have no idea. You're safe in your fortress of wood and glass, right? Uh, Ryan? Which one seems sketch? Ryan or Dylan? Is it a bear? Ryan, probably? Bears can jump like that. Does Ryan have the gun? Yes. That is Ryan right there. I, I agreed. Don't shoot the ceiling. What, was that? what is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, I think yep. Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, What about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. I uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, get, get into a cabin now. Go. Is it that one's oh, unlocked? Fuck, dude. They're gone. There you go. It's a good thing we broke in. Aggressive, we gotta kill it. I don't know if we're, I don't know if you're killing it, buddy. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off. Uh, well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Shit, do it. Do it. Take your time. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, crap. Hold the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Careful now. What did I just say? don't want to cut it off we need him infected no way man i'm not dismembering you uh, the wire wire 
Get the wire, get the wire. What? The wire, we gotta plug it in the thingy. On it. You can cut off his hand and make him not infected. But we need him infected for the ending we're getting. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, he blew the speaker. It did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. Bro, it's a lot of blood. No, he, he's fine, though. He's fine. Is it safe? Yeah, we're good. It ran I off. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so. Oh. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did you shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Alright, so that, that's the first unavoidable death. It happens in a cutscene, there is no way to change that. That's the first of the three. That what's her face? No, that so that's uh Caitlin Hackett. She's not actually like in this game, you just kind of see her photo in like chapter one. We'll, we'll get more into her in the next chapter, but yeah, that's that's one of the three that's gonna pop up at the end saying they got killed, but there's nothing you can do about that. like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. Could catch them all. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Okay, if I remember correctly, this chapter is really short, but the next one's a little bit longer. Prayers by night. It's our boy, Jacob. Emma! Oh, Fuck. it's the hag. Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob. Oh, 
Emma, is that you? Mother Miranda. It's the hag of Hackett's Quarry. I'm just saying, if he was gonna go running through the woods to, you know, go save Abby, why didn't he put his shoes on at least? Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. You're telling me. I need this. Yeah, more evidence. Huh. Maybe there's something on here. Someone's going to leave their expensive several hundred dollar camera. He's just like, huh, that's weird. The voices are back. <laughs> oh, God, Emma! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> I think he was startled. Oh. 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 oh, fuck. My... Life, okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked barely. me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Yeah, we took the picture, show it to him. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Don't be apologetic. Defend yourself. Hey! I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what? He would never. I mean, he might. For your lives. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I'm much better this way. I heard the splash. Uh-oh. 
Easy now. I don't think it's chasing him anymore. I think you've got a minute. Ah. 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 Look, you could... ah. Yep. I mean, he's alive. And he's got some protection. Alright, back to this. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Bruh. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. She's like, okay, um. Nick. What do you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here. Huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off. Uh, watch out. I said get off. Nick. Are you okay? They don't like the water. Help Nick comfort Abby. Help Nick. I got him. Don't let his dumb ass ground. What did I do? I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Almost midnight. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs. Oh, I've got plenty of evidence. Don't you worry. Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. Yeah. I've got a funny feeling the cops. Now we gotta survive till I think sunrise. Unless we've got some. Whenever the full moon goes away. If you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Right, so my hunt begins. I wonder where Caleb is. There's something in one of these, and you can't tell until you actually go in the room. We'll find it. There it is. I 
think that was it. I think there's like one more thing I can find. Oh, here it is. This place was so different like 12 hours ago. The last one just for completion's sake. All right. And we got these ones. Don't see nothing in these. What about this one? No? Not looking too good. Thanks. Hey. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like uh he was like a fish out of water. Right. Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Hmm, rabies? <laughs> He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Well, we got him. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Of course. Do you like me? This again. Be calm. Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? He is different, but... Nick, I do like you. No, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? He doesn't believe you. Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. Show me how to pick up. Nice. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Oh, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... Oh. Damn. Whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Does everything Holy look shit. okay? Oh, he's turning.
Well, shit. Still alive, though. Hey, it's Emma. After she got knocked into the river. Lake? Some body of water. Yeah, she has been away from the group for like this entire game. Okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off season camp, partying around the bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go home to the lodge. Or that. She has to have the most waterproof phone to ever exist. She brought it in the lake, in the rain. Absolutely wild. We'll take the stairs. I mean, high ground beats not high ground, right? Some of those little rope traps. Does she know where the lodge is from here? I mean, like, I know she's been here for two months, but... It actually made me jump. Hey, there's a lodge. blood run um no god damn god damn these <laughs> fucking kids son of what nope ah. Ah. <sighs> hey stop Stop squirming. Give me the trap. You should be, huh? I'm not supposed to know. I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Run! All right, now we run. Oh. She made it. Ryan! Abby! It's 
doesn't feel safe. Yeah, just chill in the car until morning. That's what I would do. Midnight. People don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Did but you had to. I, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for sure. He flung you across the room. No. It was you or him, and well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Suspicious. Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up. Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max. Yes, oh. Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should. I think that we should listen to her inside. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Dun dun. Hey -o. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? I think you know the answer by now. She's so mad. She's like, come on, let me show you one future. <laughs> Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. Chapter 7 The Past Behind Us. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Flashback. Did 
Just have the SpongeBob stingers ready for this. Two months later. The cop, the copper. All right, give me one second, chat. I've been live for like four hours. I take a quick bathroom break, refill my drink. Uh, I encourage you guys to do the same. Give back two minutes. Steph has nice. I used to hate Big B Coffee up in Michigan. Cause that's like their what local coffee the place, but uh, the one down here is like way better. Shut up. You can't just shut up. Shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Emma Rand. Yeah, that's basic. Yeah. Now we're doing her flashback. She's the one that shot the girl in the pool. Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well, uh, why were we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Bruh. Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Hmm. Hmm. North Hill County. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. All cops, am I right? Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Bruh. Please. Will you just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on? Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Lash out. <laughs> yeah, for the good ending, you gotta be nice to the cop. 
Also, it doesn't really do much except make him hate you more. So, you know, not worth. Hey! Hey! You! Asshole! Well, it's a flashback. What the, what the fuck's going on? No, she's not the girl in the pool. I know you hear me! She's the one who shot the girl in the pool. These are the two from the epilogue. I think you missed that part. Max. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... The pearl... Yeah, prologue. More or less intact, I think. Right. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? <laughs> I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. Stuff. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Oh, tell you later. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? <laughs> the cop didn't expect this. I was like a mix the first time I played this. Hands through the bars. Come on. I, like, fought back a little bit once the cops started getting angry. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on. Move. Also, maybe we want to clean that cell out. Just hose it down real quick. Hey! Stop struggling. Shut up. Okay. Alright, we gotta start Thank planning our prison break. There's gotta be something in here you can use. I mean, the sink first. We'll chisel our way out. Ew. Spoon? This little hidey hole. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. All right, come on, Laura. Put this. Put two and two together. Oh, yeah, this ought to 
do it. Ah, yes. Jake, were you watching the Reds or the Red Sox? I don't know who's playing. Red Sox. Did they win? Lol, the Reds. I don't know, man. You live here. Alright, step one of our prison break is underway. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. The second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. Wait, wait, well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. What a dick. Come on! <laughs> How to go? How to go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh,. He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? <laughs> nope. No. Huh. Rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? <laughs> it's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's the Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's. Here you go. I mean. What? Like some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? Their family runs this town. They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? 
Could be. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, if we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation, we gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. You're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. Wall. What? I got rejected from the waitlist. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. It's because we didn't Wait, snoop in the beginning of the game. Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. True. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. He appreciates your sympathy. Hell yeah. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? <laughs> well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. Yeah. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. <laughs> yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Dun dun dun. Are you out of your- Oh. Goddamn mine. Oh, okay. Werewolf- Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? What a weird transition. I said, I said literally the exact same thing. 
Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're if I didn't like you, yeah, no kidding. Whatever. I was like, I didn't hit my controller. What's happening? Oh, it's transitioning. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick, with the thing on the roof. Okay, we we'll, really we'll get to where to her eye went. We still got, we still got more of the I'm flashback to do. I'm just trying to keep an open mind. Okay, this is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish. And you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Did you want to hear how he broke out of prison? It was great. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers. But aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. July 12th. So they've been here three weeks. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being <laughs> in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Ooh. So, his escape plan is stupid. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? <laughs> Why? Why? You... You call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? 
Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money, lighten up, man. <laughs> no reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Straight up Stockholm Syndrome. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! Honestly, about as effective as Max's plan. We plane. know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Oh. Max's plan is once the cop takes him out of the cell to take a shower, he, like, tries to turn and swing at him. I said, take your fucking fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Team, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Don't call for help. Doesn't matter. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Yeah, okay. Not looking too good. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. <sighs> Max? Max? Hey, what's going on?
Good job, cop. escape let's see what that bastard cops hiding All right, you get back there buddy let's uh, not get too close a second time Evidence. What are you hiding, Travis? I said to cease and desist to that uh, podcast that Ryan was listening to about the Haga Hackett's quarry. a slap in the face. January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd. We'll get there. birthday son 56 huh. mama's boy 56 that means he was born in 1965 all right we got part of it it's like he just had his birthday Day beers. July seventh. We got him. I can go into that one now. Kind of stuff he's got on his computer. Fuck 
fuck yeah. He's got a clean inbox. Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. It's the hag. Okay. I need to lie down. You just leave that unlocked. No big deal. What's he hiding? Let me in. Hmm. Right, there's the shower. Where's that damn syringe? Okay, we need to plan our escape accordingly. Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. So I try all the doors. That one doesn't work. It's got to be upstairs, then. You couldn't go in the middle door? Nope, now we can. I definitely walked by it earlier and it was like, nah. Play such a mess. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Is it burned up? Charred, yeah. Right, nothing else in here? Doesn't look like it. We're almost done with this section. Aha! This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. All right, we've done everything. Well, 
We can just hear Max going off. Go in the cell, please. All right. Oh, where, where are we gonna hide it? What a mystery. Ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Yeah. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Happy? <laughs> I'll brew some coffee. Stay there, though. What's this? An education. Watch. back to me nice job cleaning up the eye I mean it's harder than they make out in the textbooks especially when nobody's helping you you're the doctor uh, animal doctor and no I'm not and I probably never will be stuck in here forever you know just because you know doesn't mean you know you know you know uh, what I'm not this isn't what it seems to be you're gonna have to be more specific You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? What's this weed nonsense? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Probably not what you had. had in mind. Yeah. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're going to do this for Max, and I'm going to get what I need.
Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Yeah. Keep reading. Take gun. No, I'm good. That never works out. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. Has to be full moon. Seems yeah. pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm. I'm I was when I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me. Yeah. Cause your studies. I haven't even started them yet. I haven't even started. Yeah. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. All right, what's well, not to believe at this point? I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop. Max is we should dubious. be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're going to fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. 
Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Might be. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. Scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here. That's fucked up. I fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? No. What was that? I'm telling mom. I'm <laughs> telling so mom. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? And that, that, that fucking journal? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. Eh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. Burn. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. Oh. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun. And kill Chris Hackett. This chapter is just hey, so much hey, longer than every other chapter in this game. Laura needs help. Uh, Laura, uh, Laura, are you okay? God damn it! What the hell's going on? Laura! <laughs> dun dun! We did it. I'm starting to think you were really sick. Oh, well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. 
we should go before he wakes yeah. up. Prison break. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he... no, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door. Mystery door. There's nobody in here. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. We're going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. Oh yeah. Murder squad, go. End of flashback. And I made my way here to camp. Left, Ma left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. But wait. What's up? How'd you get her That's eye it. patch? Uh, CBS on the way. Amazon, same, same day delivery. Same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh shit. So there you go. Werewolf Max was the one terrorizing Jacob and Emma. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... But she didn't kill Chris. You killed Kaylee. So, thankfully, after this chapter, the next chapters are a lot shorter. Say nine and ten, I replayed a couple times to figure out what I needed to do for these things. Max, Max.
Hello? Well. At least he can't get off the island. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so... How come Max didn't kill you? Yeah, he tried. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. All right, calm down. We don't have much time. Jacob. Please let me go. Okay. I need me for this to happen. Please. Please. Oh my God. Why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh. Is your, is your money that you want? Because my dad's got money. Like lots of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, not really, but you can get some. Probably. Please. Just let me go. Please. I'm so sorry. Too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Well, at least he's safe there, right? You know, ish. There it is. 
nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Uh -huh. Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Well, it's not the path you want. Chapter 8, Belly of the Beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. <laughs> Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> No way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. But we spent the whole summer getting to know them. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. I'll shoot you. Why don't you calm down, right? I'm trying Ryan? to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So... Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. I mean, I wouldn't tell you. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? I mean, it sounds good to me. Let's go. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. <laughs> Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. But you saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Nice. Why? 
It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact I'll find Jacob. You can get the uh, rotor arm back yeah, in. We better get going. How you holding up, Jake? You good? Hell yeah. Are you sure this is the right way? So we're getting pretty close. It's 1 to 30. Are you sure. Yeah. In game pretty time. Definitely. What do I look like? A tour guide? Wait, you're about the side patch. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. Oh there shit, it's the Resident Evil 1 mansion. Like your house. So Actually, not the Resident Evil 7 mansion. Redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Welcome to the family, son. There. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Bro. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. Or a secret oh, tunnel. Go. Nice. Oh. A super secret tunnel. Oh shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura! Jesus, Marion, jazz hands! <laughs> oh, her eyes changing color too. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh. What big eyes you have, Grandma? No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow, bro. Yes. We haven't got much time. It's a magic eye patch, Jake. It's a 
probably up Etsy, if I had to guess. Did you hear that, too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's Quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Get in my way! I've got the shotgun, I should be on point. Shit! You think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Shoves them and pulls them back. Just look at this place. On the quarry part of Hackett's quarry. Something is in here with us. Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. All right, we've got, I think we've gotten all the evidence so far, so we're doing good. It's one piece of evidence per chapter. A long way down. Cave in area, do not enter. You're not the boss of me. So, what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, till now. What about your friend, uh... Caitlin, is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she she has the hots for me. Dylan does too. Oh, modesty. Thy <laughs> name is Ryan. I'm not right. being smug about it. It's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. Well, you can figure out your love triangle after the night's over. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Nice. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Like a great band name. Collapsing Nightmare Tunnel. Wheel of Fortune. We all know that card. Looks promising. Think this is it? Uh, beats me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. 
shall we? Caitlin. Right, we're back to the lodge. <laughs> the place was ransacked. My bad. Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably They're nothing. Fine. Hopefully. I mean, I mean, should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Know who's hiding in the van? Is there, is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they? Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Freshener. Drama queen. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Little dramatic. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. No. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Nice. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. All right, off we go. Well, that's not weird at all. What 
was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Let's see, your kidnapping's getting out of control here, Hackett's. There's that red room. This way, come on. Emperor. Got two cards this time. Buddy. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Don't open the cage, electrified. Hey, bad idea. Yeah. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Sure. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. No. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, no, not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? They let Laura out. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promised. Okay. Right, calm down, Doom guy. Why? You gotta get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot, Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! Uh, we'll help him out. Okay. 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 Talk me through it. Okay, so, all I know is you have to open my door and that door. And definitely not that door. Right. Oh, cool. Thanks, Detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut up. Shut up. Okay, 
there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. Uh, three and five, and then I think the Jacob or Nixon seven. Yeah, so we don't want seven. We want three and five. Plus two is three. Okay. Well done. Not just the middle one, dude. Don't fuck this up. And two and three makes five. I can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. Four and minus one. Yeah, right. Oh, four and one. I, th I, I thought you said mine. There's, yeah, we're good. He's, he's good. We just didn't make seven. That would have killed him. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Help. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't, I don't know if there's a way back up. Say, he's not even hurt, so he'll be fine on his own. And he appreciates our help. Not my God, God not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. <laughs> I go leave, but also I don't know if you can. What? So you you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, you you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my god, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer. Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, oh you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Oh. Yes. Um, they're going to know now. Oh. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Her beauty is a tiger. Run, Ryan. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. What do you want with Jacob? Her beauty is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. Alright, 
eight chapters down, everyone's still alive. We're doing it. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Not for a while, but do you guys have any interest in doing a everybody dies run? Of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The wheel of fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch the game also gets much shorter when more people are dying because obviously spins, their the eagle eye future scenes are just cut out. Where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Nope, I'm good. The choice is, and always has been, yours to me. Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. I will be the utmost careful. Two ten a.m. Have you been there before? Chapter nine. Was the matriarch. Yet? Nah, just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road. No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Do you think there was something going on there? <sighs> yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or like sexy sparks. It definitely felt like sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but Ryan's Ryan. Ryan's Ryan. He sure is. Not that it matters. Now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious, how do you compete with that? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It was always next year, right? Well. Let's get through this year first. All right, y'all gonna come back next year? Do it all again? It doesn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. We found it. Relax, it's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. All right, back at the storm shelter, where it all began. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. No? Annoyed. I mean, she's kind of annoying, but... Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your 
whatever is happening right now. Ugh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> She's enjoying our Fuck company. This nine, huh? Hell yeah. Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Here's where the action's Easy, happening. Ma. Put me down, you bitch! Run your fucking head up! Bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You don't want to fight here. Get the fuck off me. You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. Everybody stop! Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up. That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. Put me down, asshole! No, oh, they got him. What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. Uh, runner, distract, distract. What the fuck is she doing? Bitch, I'm singing off key. Oh, Ryan, run! He, he took my knife. <laughs> took my knife. Spit. Uh, no, you shouldn't spit. She was annoying the shit out of me. Did we fuck up? I think we fucked up. I think I was supposed to spit. Fuck. I mean, she's a werewolf. She doesn't die to a single bullet. Was that a silver bullet? I don't know. Okay. Alright, that's not good. Fuck, did we start over? Yeah, I'm not doing that. The other thing too, like, if I have to go back and redo the last two chapters for the YouTube video, I can. Let's let's play it out and see what's happening. Oh, the death card, how appropriate. We have to do that to get our hiding hole. Oh. I. Cabinet. What chapter is this? Chapter nine. Out of ten. Fuck. 
full breath. that knife wound. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Time to start running, Ryan. ass. Oh, Laura? What's going on with Laura? She's alive! She's alive! What the... Was not silver. This is all new to me. I have never taken this path before. The first time I struggled with a shotgun and blew uh, Mrs. Hackett's head off, and that triggered one thing, and then when I was replaying the chapter, I did do the spit. And then she fires a bullet at you, but you need a quick time to dodge it and then run away. So this is exciting. This is all new. Can we go up the stairs? What are you stuck on? There you go. little home gym area. Can you go through the door? No, we're going out here. everybody go Bro, how big is their house See, I don't need all the little clues or whatever The sun. I'll take that. There we go. Sun is coming up. How do you do it? I thought you were shot. I got better. Tip. She's infected. It just bit. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> hey. I, you know, I might not have enough silver to kill you, 
but I could sure make you suffer. Like hell. Fuck him up. Going for the, we're not going for the kill. We're trying to save everybody. Get the animal. Get him. Come on, to get him. What are you saying? Hey, what's your position? What's your position? Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down. It's a good thing Jacob's gone. She can see in the dark. She's one of them. What are you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. No. I was nice to you this whole game, Travis. Wait! Shoot him! They say you're supposed to leave the knife in, so that's what we're doing. Just don't tap that handle against the wall. Oh, great. Yo, come on, man. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Stab. No, we don't want to stab him. He needs to be not hurt for the next part. Please! You stole my knife! Yeah! <laughs> You've been bit. Pick on someone your own size. Travis! <laughs> oh, oh, easy. Easy. Looking a little stabby there, Ryan. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Okay, I was I was worried about the start of this chapter, but I think we're fine. I'm 
so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Maybe. Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's, and your friend's, too. What choice do you have? Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Accept it. Do it. Right, go ahead. Tender for you. Nope, I'm pulling away. Do it. Do it. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Get us out of here. <laughs> All right, we're back at the scrapyard. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So. Do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for, specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Then remember, we infected Dylan 
like way earlier in the game, and that's going to come up here. Which is important for everybody survives. guys are making a lot of sounds and bright lights, so just saying. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. Tell me nobody's running in the scrapyard at 2.30 in the morning. this car that we need. You ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. <laughs> Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? All right, well, now he's looking a little more infected. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Yeah, you got this. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit, okay. All right, here goes nothing. Did 
Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. <laughs> About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Oh. Warner. Slam it. Fail this one on purpose. Now she's infected, which is what we need. Dylan to not be in the lodge during the last chapter. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? Damn it, Bobby. What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. Might as well keep some. What'd you find? 
Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that supposed to be scary? Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Back to the Hackett's. Hackett's House of Horrors. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. You're scaring Ryan. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Y'all don't see this thing right in front of you? Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think we found Chris Hackett. He's free. Going down. The gun! Uh. Old boy's trying to wrestle a werewolf. That's the second unavoidable death. You either kill Chris or let everybody in this room die. And now she's cured. I was nice to you. Yeah. Likewise. 
So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Huh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. Been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. I mean, in what role would I help you? Nope. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. But Lauren got better okay, though? let's go. Well, Lauren was bit by this doesn't Max, mean I forgive you for what you and did to me. Max was bit by Chris. So when Chris died, he cured Max, which cured Laura. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? But we've got Silas, who's the original, who bit Caleb, and Caleb's still running around, causing shit. Had your chance. And now she's pissed. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? Alright, the final yeah. chapter. Everyone's Don't alive except for the two we've talked about so far. Moves. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon. So the, the final kill will be in your case, the original, which I don't think counts as a death, because we never play as him, and why would we want him to be alive? <laughs> I mean, right? So if you don't count him, Chris and Some Kaylee are only deaths. The vitality of a new Which, Kaylee unavoidable, Chris, it's, it's Chris or like five people, so. Of a night survived. That's the asterisk. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Uh, no. No? Okay. If that's what you want. 
one last time. Go back. Go back and end this. Finish the fight. Wait, wrong game. Three AM. Chapter ten, the final girl. Hey, it's Max. He's all better. We just need you to chill until morning, and it's 3 a.m., so don't go be a hero. Laura's cap. Swag. Decisions, decisions. Oh, you're staying here. You're safe on the island. Three thirty a.m. What time does a full moon go away? They realize the campus closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back for a chance to get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is close the window that. Jacob opened in chapter one that I couldn't close behind me. Oh, camera angle. Why? Come on. There you go. What's not okay? Better. So if Dylan wasn't infected, he being here with Caitlin, but 
we actually don't want him in here with us. How long has this guy been here? Prepare for attack. Motherfuckers. Sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. be fine. Emma's still alive, you just don't know it. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Right. Should we go out? 4 a.m. What the? That's an entrance. So normally here, it's Caleb or Kaylin, but because we're infected and Dylan's not here, we can keep everybody alive. We're not going to shoot him. It's this whole big thing where you run around the cabin shooting him and eventually hit him with a silver shell and he's dead. Not on my watch, everyone's staying alive. Or 15. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Pretty much. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. 
no matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking, every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? There you go. Oh. Travis, Travis. Take the wheel. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but... Yeah. yeah. You don't have world powers anymore, man, so uh, take it easy. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? <laughs> what? Not my everyone survives run. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Determined. Let's fucking do this. Go team! I hear the birds, I feel like the sun's coming up soon. All makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. I agree. a lot yeah uh yeah no worries i guess oh pungent Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old 
woman, she was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible, who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I th think. Yeah, tell me more. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Mother of the year? Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. Tell the truth. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. We could just kill Caleb. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. And Silas could have affected other people too, besides just the Hackett, so. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Ghost Carney. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. That sounds like something. Original. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Shoot. Do it. No! 
It's over. No more werewolves. Please, let's just... Let's just go before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. She's gonna be pissed. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. A friend. I'll never leave you. Permanent friends. All right, let's see how we did. Achievement unlocked, rough night. We did it. Come follow me into a place where the fear is gone and the worries fade away. Cause it's a brand new day. I've got you. Rip Chris. And Kaylee. Unavoidable. Caleb's alive. The OG. We did it. What well, six and a half hours? I think I estimated six, so you know, not bad. I could trim it down for YouTube a little bit too. Now the actual police are here, or maybe some feds. Psycho teens charged over summer camp murder. Yeah, that's it. What do you make of that, Anton? Um, Psycho teens would be a great band name. Uh, yeah, this the sure, podcast guess, from the game like plays for like 20 minutes, but that's basically it. There's no after credit scene. I thought we'd done the whole. We did it. Thing.